Okay, so we have swords here. So air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. But here we're now looking into June 30th and July the 1st is 2024. And of course, everything that you need to know about me, it will be right down below in the description box. And thank you for your love and your support. So we start right here with love. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's see what else we here. This is our air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. June 30th and July the 1st, 2024. Sign of Taurus is right here. What's the message right here, please? Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. It says, caution, sunshine, happiness, focus, study, optimism, fresh, cheerful, and fun. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more. Okay, so this one here is um, air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And we have forecast weather and astrology right here. All right, so right here we have mentally, physically, and financially. And then this one right here says inviting in a new, and it feels so good. So I feel like right here your overall energy is that you're inviting a new, and it does feel good. I feel like mentally, okay, physically, financially, okay, yeah. I feel like that definitely feels good, okay. Now we have love right here. So love is in the air for you. Yeah, maybe some of you, are, a Taurus could be significant for some people here. Okay, uh, what else is the Taurus energy? Taurus is the Empress, which could be something here that's beginning new in some type of way. The Empress is all about creation, um, giving birth to something new. Pregnancy could be here for some of you right here. The Empress, it's amazing grace. Something here is amazing grace. Okay, that's the Empress right there. Beauty and all things that's beautiful in some way. This, the sign of Taurus also could represent right here um, the Hierophant. You know, the Hierophant could be somebody here that's very wise and have a lot of wisdom and knowledge could be the case in some way. Okay, so some of you could be writing in a new and there could be some new wisdom and some new knowledge. I know you're air sign and um, you're very intelligent, but I feel like new wisdom and new knowledge could be coming in for, for some of you air signs right here. Okay. Now, yellow, it says caution. So something here could be caution about something like that, some type of way. But this also is sunshine, it's happiness, it's focus and study. Some of you, you will be focusing, you'll be studying, you'll be getting new knowledge, optimism, freshness, cheerful and fun. So there's, there's a lot of good energy here, you know. It's, it's really good energy. It's, it's really fun energy. It's really cheerful and optimism here. But there's also caution to the wind, too, in some way. Okay. So, like, when we have, like, thunderstorms, sometimes we open up the window. And we open up the window, we can really smell good, fresh air from that right there. Some type of way. So, the caution could have been that it was a thunderstorm. But at the end of the day, it brings fresh air in some way. So, that's my way it could be. Because if you see a storm could be here, forecast weather astrology, maybe some storm is here in some type of way. But um, maybe it's in the weather for some, okay? And then all this right here is astrology for others, okay? So um, let's see what else we're going to get in here. This is um, Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Libra and Gemini. We have the Six of Swords. Look at that. And this one right here is an upright and it says better times ahead. So air signs, there's some better times ahead, I feel, for some of you. You're inviting in a new, it feels really, really good, I feel. All right. New wisdom, new knowledge right now. Um, new focus and new studies right now. But there is better times ahead now. Get right here for some air signs right here. Knight of Wands right here. Some of you might get swept off your feet. And the swept off your feet energy definitely could be a love situation for some of you. Okay, so you might have better times to hit in love for some people here. Okay, this even either, either, either could be better times ahead and um, many different aspects of your life. It could be love, yes, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. Some of you, there could be some really inviting and new, and it feels good. New energy and emerge. The tourist card right here also could be emerge. So there could be some new energy and emerge. Okay. Inviting and new about that in some way. Okay. What's your message right here, please? This is um, 
air for Christ week in Gemini. I'm also feeling like some of you may get um, some type of new technology. Could be like a new laptop or computer or TV or something like that. Something could be new about something like that. High Priestess right here. I'm getting like some of you getting a new watch. Okay, but anyway, the High Priestess right here. This is intuitive energy. Somebody here is intuitive. They're psychic or something. So that could be some better times ahead um, with your intuitive skills. Because I do see focus and study right here. So some of you, maybe you're focusing and studying about that. It could be it. Find the light within. Winter solstice right here. Okay. And this says um, within a year or more. So within this next year or more right here, I feel like there's so much knowledge to be had. There's so much um, new energy that's really feeling good, okay? I definitely do feel like laptops or computers in some type of way, stuff like that. Some new studies you're doing. What else here? Air, Aquarius, Leap, and Gemini, Nine of Swords flips out here. And this one is mental anguish. This is somebody here that's having anxiety or some restless nights. Some of you right here, maybe you'll be able to sleep well now. Could be the case. We have Ten of Cups right here. And the Ten of Cups is, of course, a storybook ending. Absolutely. It's been completely happy. It's a type of way. That's what I get for some of you in a merge. Something here about a merge. You're going to invite in a new and it's good energy in a merge for some people here. Okay, let's see here. All right. Air signs right here. Pretty so you put in Gemini. Four of Cups right here. Now the Four of Cups definitely could be a missed opportunity. Maybe something here is a missed opportunity right here. Maybe somebody here is intuitive. They're psychic right here. High Priestess right here. I feel like you're very intuitive. You know right here what you want to move forward with and what you don't want to move forward with right now. Okay. Those things will come through your subconscious mind. I'm getting right here. Okay. What's your message right here, please? This is um, a Empress right here, which is Libra energy, Taurus as well. This Empress is pregnant, so some of you could be pregnant. This also could be um, new beginnings again. Within the next year, new beginnings. Some of you are going to get pregnant, I feel like, within this next year, I feel. If it's not about being pregnant, it's definitely a new beginning some type of way. Something here is new right now, okay, that you're creating. What's the six of swords right here and nine of swords, please, for air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? Yeah, I'm getting like some of you getting a lot of rest. I feel like sleepy or tired all of a sudden right here. This one right here? I am like really sleepy. <laughs> I feel like some of you need to get some rest or something like that right here. Yeah, two of coins right here. Oh, maybe some of you have to get a new bed or a new mattress. The two of coins is all about um, balancing something out or like juggling it or switching it, something like that. So for some of you, maybe you do need to get a new bed. Something like that could be the case for some people here. Six of swords right here and a nine of swords right here. The full moon, yeah, because I'm getting like, if you do need to get a new bed, I feel like that's going to be very clear to you because the full moon is something here that comes into culmination in some way. So if there is time for a new bed, you're going to know, or maybe you're going to get like a mattress top or a pillow top um, to go on top of the mattress to make it feel a little bit more comfortable or something. Okay, so that way you can really sleep well. I'm getting right here. So I feel like really tired over here, like I'm really sleepy, like I don't know. Okay, the justice card. Justice is served. <laughs> Just period. There's some better times to hear. Justice is served. You know, if you was waiting for justice to finally be served about something, the full moon, something here has come to culmination and justice is served about something right here. It could be a leap, bro. Okay. What's the night of wands right here in the Ten of Cups? The will. Yeah. Justice and the will of fortune. This is a faded turning point in your life. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. There's also decisive moments right now, too. So, major decisions is being made right here with the Wheel of Fortune. 
they will be faded and they will be destiny in some type of way. You'll be eclipsing certain things out. There will be some changes, I feel, in the next few months right here with a solar eclipse and this um, autumn equinox. So with these two right here, I do see um, some serious changes about to happen and the Wheel of Fortune as well, okay? That could be three major changes that's happening right now. Could be for some of you right here. And they all could be happening quick right here with the Knight of Wands. So it could be love, money, and something else. Could be the case, example. Okay. But there's changes right here. Some things will be eclipsed out. That's fate. That's going to be eclipsed out right now. Okay. Because justice is served. There's better times ahead. So things will be eclipsed out. It need to be eclipsed out so that you can experience some better times that will be ahead. Okay. What's the message here, please? High Priestess right here in the Four of Cups. It makes me really feel like right here that you know right here what you want to, you know by listening to your intuition. You know, you listen to your intuition right here. You know what's, what's, what's for you and what you really don't want to have in your life in some way. Okay, Two of Swords right here in the Page of Cups. Some of you, some things right here is unexpected, I feel. Maybe you have big plans for something here some type of way. Okay, but I feel like right here, even if you did have big plans for something right here, step away. Some of it might get eclipsed out because solar eclipse is here. That's definitely eclipsing something out. The Wheel of Fortune is major changes. And then the Autumn Equinox is also a change. Page of Cups Reverse is broken dream. Something here that you could have been really had your mind set on in some type of way. It might get eclipsed out for some people here. Okay, um, but just know the universe knows best. Listen to your intuition. If something here isn't is if don't feel right, it's not right in some way, okay? If it feels right, it does. But I just feel like with the King of Swords is your energy. And it's all about making mind over matter decisions. And this certainly could be about anything. Okay. It's not it's not emotional decision, right? It is a very intelligent decision in some type of way with the King of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you have to make some decisions here, I feel. Okay, yeah, the star card. It's something right here that maybe you was wishing for, for some of you, the star card. This even could be Aquarius. Okay. The star card is also a wish is granted. So if you have to make a mind over matter decision about something, maybe there's something's a missed opportunity in some way then I feel like it's actually going to be a wish fulfillment in the end. It's better times ahead in some way here, okay? What's the message right here, please? It's Empress and the Winter Solstice. Okay. Okay, so this is the Empress. And this one is the Winter Solstice right here. So I feel like for the next year or more, you will be doing a whole lot of new energy. You really will be inviting in a new, like for real. You really will, I feel right here. But the Empress is creating something new, right? The Queen of Cups right here is a creative idealist. <laughs> okay, so in the next year or so, that could be new energy. It could be about love for some people, what you love to do, who you want to start your life with, or something like that. It could also be here. Three of Swords. <laughs> yeah, Three of Swords right here. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, something here is a missed opportunity that you was really hoping for. And I feel like it can be heartbreaking for some of you in some type of way within the next year or so. But I also do feel like something here in the end is for your best, is for your best interest. Yeah. Constantly, um, queen of coins right here. Could be a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. Okay. That's my puppy over there, in case you see him right there, okay? But the queen of um, pentacles right here is, is a wife, a Taurus Capricorn, a Virgo. There could be some heartbreak right here about a wife or the, somebody that's very loving or three women with the empress right here. A pregnancy or something like that right here. Okay, page of wands. The page of wands is really, really good news. Could be a younger fire sign here. Yeah, I feel like for some of you right here, if somebody broke your heart like deeply, I'm getting right over here. You might get a new perspective about this person or energy, I feel, with the hanging man. You may get a new perspective of why certain things happen in our life. And unfortunately, certain things do happen in our life that we don't agree with all the time, you know? Um, 
I feel like over the next year, this says a year or more right here, okay? Right here. A year or more. I don't know if you ever see it, but that's what it says right here. Let me see if I can do it like this. Okay, so within the next year or more, okay, the winter solstice right here, I feel like some of you, you're going to get a new perspective or something. If something here was weighing you down, if something here was heartbreaking, it was deep emotional pain, you're going to forgive it. Free spirit right there. Right? You're going to forgive it, I feel. Yeah. No more heavy heart. Yeah. Whatever this is about, the next within the next year, I think that you'll work through this and forgive them, whoever they are. Okay? Forgive yourself. And it's I'm getting right here. Yeah, you will. You'll seize the day, the opportunity, I feel, that come in front of you over the next year. You will. You will heed the call over here with the judgment card. Okay, so yeah, this is what I have right here, okay? And I do thank you so much for taking a look here now. And I send you all peace, blessings, of course, love, and light. Namaste to you.